What if I told you that there is a way to make your Pro Club's build more overpowered than any other build in the game? And it is so, so simple. So unless you've been living under a rock recently, you will have heard the word lengthy being thrown about when it comes to FIFA 23. Most people will know it through Ultimate Team, but what some people don't know is that it's actually applicable in Pro Clubs too. Just to give you guys some background knowledge on what lengthy actually means in FIFA, EA recently added a new system into the game called Accelerate, which establishes three new archetypes into the game. Explosive, Controlled and Lengthy. Each player in the game will fall under one of these three archetypes and it pretty much balances players that have got a high acceleration and are quicker off the mark and players that have got low acceleration but are quicker over long distances. This means that players who haven't been usable over the past three FIFAs now are. Players like Harry Kane and Erling Haaland. And when you compare the three together, players that attain the lengthy archetype are able to do pretty much everything that the other two do and more. Hence why everyone's been raving about it recently. And the build that I'm about to walk you guys through attains everything needed to become an overpowered striker in FIFA 23 Pro Clubs, including that lengthy archetype. To start off with, you want to set your height as 6 foot 3 and your weight as 178 pounds. This may seem a little heavy, but don't worry, there is good reasoning behind it. For your build to be classed as lengthy, your strength stat must be 14 points higher than your agility stat. And having your pro above the heights of 6 foot, 6 foot 1, alongside weighing a decent amount as well, you will find it much easier to achieve this. When you get into the attributes section, as I mentioned before, you want to have your strength stat 14 points higher than your agility stat. So I would recommend using some of your skill points to boost your strength stat, and if you have enough, go ahead and acquire that bull archetype. With this though, you don't want your pro to feel super clunky in game, so I would also recommend using some of your skill points on agility. And if you have additional skill points left over, go ahead and use some on other dribbling stats just to ensure a smooth motion in game. After you've done this, you want to go ahead and put a decent amount of skill points into your shooting stats. After all, you are playing striker and will be expected to score goals. The two that I would recommend prioritising first are shot power and finishing. Now, of course, the amount of skill points that you'll be able to spend on each stat will differentiate depending on what level you are. Don't worry about it, just spend what you can. What is important though is that you put a decent amount of skill points into your pace stats, as this will go hand in hand with the lengthy archetype and it will make it even easier to burn past your opponents. When it comes to perks, the first one that you want to be using is Poacher. This will give a boost to your shooting inside the box and will increase your chances of scoring a goal, which is important as this is where most of your shots should be taken from. The second perk that you want to be using is Physical Strength. This will increase your strength massively and boost your chances of winning the ball from a header. Which, due to this build being very tall, is rather important because it will allow you to win a lot more of the headers coming from your team crossing the ball. And when you manage to unlock that third perk slot, I would recommend having first time shot in there. This again will boost your shooting stats massively and, similar to the physical strength perk, will increase your chances of winning any headers. Now it is completely up to you which order you want to have these perks in, and when all three slots are unlocked, it won't make a difference at all. But if you are like me and only have two of the three unlocked, I would definitely recommend having the first two set as Poacher and Physical Strength. Now that you understand what the lengthy archetype is, it is super important that you educate yourself on some of the other ones, which you can do so in this video right here. 